let's say you have a hundred dollars to start a business, right? And you have 12 to 18 months to get there. But the goal is in the next 12 to 18 months, you're going to turn that hundred dollars into a hundred thousand dollars in profit. What would you do in the first 30 days? Yeah. Well, here's what I would do. I would do my niche validation. All right. And I am going to be looking and starting on Etsy. And the reason why I'm starting to do my niche validation there is because I want to see, are there products already selling right now on that platform? Because now that I've been down the road of Etsy and I've seen the potential, I know that there's a good opportunity there, but I'm not going to blindly go there and just launch any product. But what I'm doing is I'm going to go after some niches that I feel have good demand on Etsy. And the reason why I'm starting there, like I said, is because I want to start making my first dollar as soon as possible. So that's what I'm going to do. Niche validation. I'm going to spend some time there. I'm going to spend, I don't know, $29.99 a month and I'm going to buy Everbee and I'm going to start doing my data, right? My, my little research there. So I just used up 30 bucks of that money. And then what I'm going to do is now that I know that I'm going after a niche that I can also, and this is important, I can build an email list in and I might not be able to build it with the 70 bucks that I have left. I might be able to use some of it, but my main goal for the first 30, 60, and 90 days is to really flood the, the niche in the market on Etsy with a whole bunch of different products that are already selling so I can start generating money so I can take that money and then start building my email list. Okay. And then from there, what I'm going to do, and you might be asking like, well, how would you build the email list? Very simple. I would take the products that I'm creating. I would take like three or four or five of them and I'd put them into a giveaway and I would start advertising on Facebook like five bucks a day. And I'd build that email list of the products that I have available. So this way here, people are also aware that I have a shop and I make, you know, I, I make products for this niche and that they can buy them. And now I can start emailing those people. All right. And so I'm going to be doing it in a way that's, yes, I'm starting on Etsy, but that's not where I'm really going to end up. And that's not necessarily where I'm going to make the full hundred thousand dollars because now what I'm going to be doing after the first 90 days is I'm going to be taking that email list and I'm going to be sending them over to my, to my Etsy shop, but I'm also going to be looking at other opportunities like affiliate marketing, like what other products, digital products, maybe over on ClickBank, what are other products that they would be interested in that I could potentially recommend and I can make a 50% or a 60% commission on ClickBank. So that's pretty much what I would do. Niche validation, huge, right? And the niche validation needs to tell me that there's demand on Etsy, but also outside of Etsy. So this way here, I know that I can build that email list, but I also can make sales, not just on Etsy. Okay. And so from there, that's what I'm going to do 30, 60, 90 days. And then the rest of the year, I'm really just going to be focusing on building up the Etsy inventory, building my email list and emailing my list and finding other ways to monetize outside of just Etsy. There's my plan. So where, where does the rest of that $70 get spent? Very simple. Uh, in the first 30 days. Very simple. Etsy ads. Okay. I'm going to take that money. I'm going to drop it right into Etsy ads. <clears throat> and hopefully if I've done my research correctly, I'm going to be able to now take the money that I'm making and I'm going to be able to flip that right around and push it right back into the business. And that's something that a lot of people aren't willing to do. They want to hold on to their little bit of profit and do everything free. But I don't want to wait that long. And so I know that once I get customers into Etsy or coming from Etsy, I'm also building my email list at the same time of customers. And again, I'm always thinking about it. If I'm building this brand, again, I said brand, not an Etsy business. I'm building a brand once I'm doing this. And I know that I can sell them more than just the product that they purchased on Etsy. Now the opportunities just open up tremendously. All right. So 30 bucks for the first month on Everbee, right? The second thing I'm going to be spending the money on is some listings, right? Let's say I spend 20 bucks on listings, right? So I got 50 bucks left. I'm putting 50 bucks in Etsy ads. And then what I'm probably going to do, so I probably ran out of money at that point. I'm probably going to, I don't know, maybe go in the basement and find some stuff that I can flip on eBay real quick, make some extra money and put it right back into some Etsy ads. It's probably what I'm going to do. 
So the only question that I still have in my head, Scott, and would you have a goal for how many products that you're launching in the first 30 day period? Uh, yeah, really in the first 30 days, I would like to have 30 products. And that might come with, and we've talked about this before, it's going to come down to taking one design, putting it on five different products, right? I'm also going to be doing this. This is something I didn't mention. I'm going to be trying to find products that are more expensive. They aren't just your typical $20 t-shirt, right? I'm going to try to figure out a way to launch other products that are more expensive. A great example is a blanket, right? One of the throw blankets that goes on your couch. All right. We've talked about those before. You're selling something that's more expensive. And instead of making $5 or $10, I'm going to make $20 or $30. Okay. So that's another way to try to get there quicker is by selling more of those types of products. And then probably taking some products that I think that would go well together and creating a listing of a bundle of the three together, right? Something like that to actually increase the cart value of that one customer. But you and I both agree, Chris, it comes down to, you got to know that the niche has products that are selling and there's enough demand. That's number one. Number two, we've all, we've already agreed that we need an email list. It's just a matter of when we build that email list. And the third thing is, is we need to make money through sales, right? Through selling stuff. And to me, I'm just looking at it. Like we can get on Etsy and almost get a sale within the first week, technically, right? and start really driving everything. And as we're doing that slowly, we're building an email list and then we can go ahead and ramp things up with an email list. So it's a little bit, but I think, I think that's the strategy that I would go with.